Hi all, this evening I'd like to read you a story. This is Robin's Song by Linda Owen. It's one of my favourite stories to read with the children. And there's a lovely message in it for all of us, young or old alike. The shadowy land laid lulled asleep by the moon. Lay silent and still in a slumbering swoon. With glittering stars all twinkling bright. Us hushed little birds dream dreams in the night. When the tired old moon sailed away at sunrise, Blackbird's sweet song echoed out in the skies, And his mellow refrain began to unfold, With flutings of silver flourished in gold. Morning blazed in and chased off the dark With warblings of gold crest, linnet and lark, Blue tits high calls and tinkling trills, And all sorts of wheezing and whistling bills. Cheepings and tweetings and twitterings were heard, As all the choir sang except one little bird, Young Robin Redbreast, so sad and forlorn, listened, si Silently listened to songs of the dawn. Young Robin felt fuddled and full of dismay, as he heard all the cooings and chirpings each day. For he so longed to sing, and he tried and he tried, but there wasn't a peep of a whistle inside. No beautiful song was there to be found, no crotchets or quavers to warble a sound, for deep in his heart something was wrong. He was weary and dreary and empty of song. Young Robin preferred to be on his own, pecking and preening and perching alone, as twittering birds hopped up alongside, he flew in the tangly creepers to hide. He stayed for the rest of the day, till the sun gave a wink as it sidled away, and sorrowful Robin sobbed for a tune, deep in his sadness under the moon. Then suddenly out of the dark, dim night, an extraordinary bird, or dazzling white, with a streaming tail and a spiky crest, flew in with a message for Robin Redbreast. Said the bird, I've come from beyond the skies to tell of the Lord, who is mighty and wise. For the Lord made the heavens, the moon and the sun, the planets and stars, he made each one. The earth is the Lord's and everything here. Although we can't see him, his presence is near. He built up the mountains, planted the trees, scented the flowers and flooded the seas. All creatures are made by the good Lord above, and he wants them to know of his wonderful love, for he loves us so much, and soon you will see, if you say every morning, the Lord loves me. And now, I must leave, said the dazzly bird, but always believe this message you've heard. Then the bird flew away with a flick of his tail, and all that was left was a luminous trail. The startled young robin dashed home to his bed, with the words of the bird whirring round in his head, and he dreamt that the Lord stayed close to his nest, which so warmed the heart in his little red breast. Next morning, as Robin awoke at sunrise, he marvelled at how the Lord lights up the skies with the moon for the night and the sun for the day, so all of his creatures can find their way. As young Robin pondered on all that he'd heard, from the curious, whimsical, dazzly bird, he remembered some words that he needed to say just at the start of every new day. So he flew to his secret place under a tree and timidly whispered, The Lord loves me. Then suddenly out of the little bird's throat slipped the teeniest, weeniest, whistling note. The robin's heart fluttered as fast as could be, and again the bird uttered, The Lord loves me. Crotchets and quavers escaped from his bill and even a hint of a tinkling trill. A luminous, whirly wind. Swirled through the trees, ruffling his feathers that fluffed in the breeze. The Lord really loves me, 
was Robin's clear call. Then out piped the finest warbling of all. The robin dashed up to the highest tree top, and he sang and he sang and he just couldn't stop. Our wonderful Lord has filled me with song, so my sad, weary heart is now joyful and strong. And his beautiful song filled the morning air, and he whistled his tune with flourish and flare. The quizzical birds soon gathered around to see who was making this lovely new sound. And they all joined in with their chirpings and cheeps, flutings and cooings and twitterings and tweets. But the sweetest singing that ever was heard was sung by that shy little red-breasted bird. Our Lord reaches down from his heaven above, for he wants us to know of his wonderful love. So, open your heart, believe he is true, our Lord. There's a beautiful song just for you. <laughs>